Then I got pregnant. First and stepdad. I, yes. And I tried to remove the pregnancy, but he told me he's going to tell my mom and he's going to he's going to kill my mom if I take away the pregnancy. Hey all ladies and gentlemen, I remember my humble self to Mama AK nobody but no. Um, it's already getting late, but um, there's a young lady here that has a confection to make, and I'll give her my audience, and I'll still indulge your audience and your opinion in this matter, because this matter at hand is something serious again. Okay, I won't do the talking, but I'll just want you guys to give me your full attention, and then listen to what she has to say, and then we know I will go from here. So young lady, no need for your name, I just want you to go straight to the point, explain what happened from the Genesis to the Revelation. And then we'll see how we can get your situation reasoned. So please, what do you have to say? And I would like you to speak up a bit so that they can hear you well. Okay. My mom lost her husband. Which is so, your father, right? Yes, my dad. So my god my mom got married again to my stepdad. So I hated my stepdad because he was a wicked man. He maltreated my mom and I. He's a wicked man. He's in short he's a visualist. I hated him because of he threatened to kill me. Wait. When your mom got married to this man, you left where you were staying to go and live with him. Yes. And then he threatened to kill you. Yes. What did your mom do about the old matter? Nothing. Well, was she aware of everything that was going on? Yes. And she still decided to marry him despite knowing the fact that he's a diabolic and ritualist? Yes. So he was beating my mom, so I hated him so much. So my mind was thinking so many things. So I decided to go and meet a medicine man to give me a medicine so I can put it in his car when he's going to work. So I took the medicine from the man and I put it in his car. I didn't know my mom was going to drive that day. So she entered the car and she got an accident. So I was so scared. So when my stepdad came to the house, after taking her to the hospital, he showed me the medicine that he saw it inside the car and he knows about everything I did. So he threatened to tell my mom that I tried to kill her. So he told me that he, should be, he will be sleeping with me. If not, he's going to tell my mom I tried to kill her, so I accepted, and he was sleeping with me. Then I got pregnant. You got what? pregnant for your stepdad? Yes. With all this while, where was your mom? She was in the hospital, unconscious. Wait, 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 let me get this straight. So after I discovered um, that um, you inserted a sham inside his car that was meant for him, your mom drove the car and got into the accident and she's still unconscious in the hospital. Yes. Then he saw the sham inside the car. Yes. Confronted you that he knew that you were the one. Yes. And then told you that for him not to expose your little secret to your mom, he's going to continue sleeping with you. Yes. Has he tried advances at you before? No. So this was his perfect opportunity to actually lay hold on you and then you gave in. Yes. So because what I was happen? scared. Then I got pregnant. First and I, stepdad. Yes. And I tried to remove the pregnancy, but he told me he's going to tell my mom and he's going to he's going to kill my mom if I take away the pregnancy. I'm not getting it. Please stand straight. <laughs> he threatened you with the, your own pregnancy. Yes. That you are pregnant for your stepdad. Yes. He threatened to kill your mom. Yes. If you take off the pregnancy. Yes. Ah, what sort of a man is that? So what was your um, your decision for, for the whole matter? Because I don't want my mom to die. I decided to keep the pregnancy. 
So how many months pregnant are you? Three. Three months? Yes. And your mom is still unconscious in the hospital? Yes. So if you, anything happens to your pregnancy now, your mom is going to die? Yes. Why is that even necessary? I don't know. Wait, has your mom given birth for this young uh, for this man before? No. So it's not using you as an insurance policy to make sure he has a kid from you? Yes. Wow. So what do you want us to do for you now? You want advice? Yes. On what to do? Yes. Wow. So guys, um, I'm really speechless because it's the first time I'm trying to come across a case like this. And um, I don't know. I am actually speechless. I don't have anything to say. So this young woman here, her mom is married to a diabolic man, according to her, is a ritualist. How did you find out that this is your stepdad is a ritualist? Because of the way he treats us. And he has a lot of secrets. Yes. So nobody knows about his secrets. Does he have a secret room where he carries out all those his, uh, diabolic stuff or what? I don't know. But you know that he's a ritualistic man. Yes. So guys, like I said, she found out that this her stepdad is um, a ritualist. He's, um, he's a diabolic man. And um, in her bid to wipe him away, she went to meet someone that gave her sham, according to her, to insert in the car. And unfortunately, that day, her mom drove the car and got into an accident leaving her stepdad to discover the sham and then he confronted her with it that he was going to expose this young girl to her mom that she tried killing her mom more like blackmailing her if only she starts sleep, sleeping with him okay so he blackmailed her with um the fact that he already has evidence against her and you know that um, blackmail is one of the things that is used against people these days. So he told her that it's either she sleeps with him or he's going to expose her to her mom. And she being afraid, she had to succumb to his terms and they have been actually carrying out their sex keeping while her mom is lying unconscious in the hospital. So when your mom is lying unconscious in the hospital, have you been going to visit her or is she just in coma without anybody paying attention to her? Yes. He has not allowed me to leave the house ever since. So wait, he just comes to you in the house. Yes. Anytime he comes back, you guys will make out and all of that. Yes. And now you are pregnant. So she's pregnant for her stepdad and um, he's refusing abortion because her mom has not given birth to any child for him. And he wants this his stepdaughter to give birth to a child for him with um, the fact that he's threatening her that if she takes off the pregnancy, her mom is going to die. I don't know how possible that is. It's the first time I'm hearing such statement and such um, scenario. So that if she takes off the pregnancy, her mom is going to die. So she's just going to keep the pregnancy. And she's three months gone. She's going to keep the pregnancy for her stepdad. I don't know how your mom is going to see this when she comes back, but um, I... <laughs> The issue at hand is very, very scary. So he wants you to give birth for him. In fact, sorry, can I ask you something? How old are you? Like, if you are still in school, which level are you? Which class are you? I'm 16 years old. I'm in SS1. And you are pregnant for your stepdad? Yes. Guys, I don't know if you have any opinion for this young girl. But me sitting at right here, I'm actually angry and pissed off. I'm annoyed at what is happening in this world. I know she made a mistake. She's to be blamed. But that doesn't mean she should be treated like a nobody. She did it for the good of her mom, trying to see if she can just save her mom all the heartbreaks and um, disaster, only for her to get herself in a more serious issue. I'm not still judging you, and I'm not trying to say that what you did was the right thing. But at the same time, I know why you did it. And you were just doing it for the good of your mom. But now, reverse is the case. And you have to play, and you have to dance to the music that you played. So guys, if there's any opinion you have for her, 
if there's um, anything serious, any honest opinion or any honest advice you have for this young girl, I would like you guys to drop it in the comment section so that she can actually go and see what's wrong and know how she's going to pull out of this situation. But for now, don't forget that she's three months pregnant for her stepdad and she can't take away the pregnancy. If she takes the pregnancy off, she's going to die. Sorry, her mom is going to die and I know she doesn't want that for her mom. And then um, she has to keep the pregnancy and then give birth. So is um has the doctor said anything about your mom coming back anytime soon? No. So you guys are just waiting till God knows when. Yes. Wow. So guys, like I said, if there's any honest opinion you have about this whole matter, I would like you guys to just drop it in the comment section. I'm going to post this video. You will observe, you will watch. I'll send you the link and then you will be in the comment section. Hmm? You will listen to my audience, you will see what they have to say about this old matter and then we'll see how we are going to help you out sincerely. If I have powers with me, I would have actually helped you out without actually asking my audience for any advice or whatsoever. But right now, I think my audience have the perfect answer or they have honest opinion on how you should go about this matter. So guys, like I said, I would like you guys to drop your honest opinion and please don't forget to share this video so that more people can actually see it and um, learn from it first. And then think of how they are going to assist the situation. <sighs> I have nothing more to say. But please, you guys just drop your honest opinion for this young lady. Let us know what she's going to do. If she's going to keep the baby. Or she's going to abort it. And then see what's going to happen. For now, it's your own and only tomorrow. Okay, nobody will know. And I'm signing out. Thank you very much, guys.